Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 244 and today is our lesson number 145 let's take a look at it problem number 7 where we are given some, in, some, uh, some inequalities and our job is to solve them this should not say simultaneous equations it should say solving inequalities number one we are told that 3x is greater than 7 plus x that's a very straightforward situation we have to bring all the x's to one side the rules of uh, how you handle an inequality and how one handles an equation an equality are no difference with the, with the with one with only one exception and when we get to that exception, we'll go over that exception. Other than that one rule, everything else that you can do when you're solving the equations, you can do when you're solving an inequality. Whatever you can do while you're doing solving for uh, solving an equality, which is an equation, the same rules apply for the solution of inequality. Except one ex one situation, which will, as I said, we'll come to that in a second. So we can subtract x from both sides, which is what, had it been an equal sign, that's what we would have done. Had it been an equal sign, we would have subtracted x from both sides to bring the x to this side, which is exactly what we're going to do now. So now, on the right-hand side, we end, up with a, on the, we, on the, we end up with a positive x and a negative x. They cancel each other out. And here we have a negative 3x and a negative x gives us negative 4x, which is greater than 7. Now, we're going to take these quantities negative 4x and 7 and divided by negative 4 so to get rid of this negative 4 here but before we do that let's talk about that exception that I was talking about a second ago here's the rule here's what you have to remember if we if we, if we multiply or divide an inequality if we multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number the direction of the inequality switches Voila, that's it. That's what we have to remember. If we multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, the direction of the inequality switches. Let me explain to you, let me show you very quickly why. For example, for example, for example, would you agree that 10 is more than 8? Of course 10 is greater than 8. Now, if you were to divide both, if you were to divide both sides by positive 2, 10 divided by positive 2 is 5, 8 divided by positive 2 is 4, and this is still true. This is still true that 5 is more than 4. Nothing happened to the direction of the inequality. But what what happens if you were to divide it by negative 2? If you were to divide 5 by a negative 2 and 8 by a negative 2, even though we are dividing both sides of the inequality by the same number, 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5, 8 divided by negative 2 is a negative 4, and negative 4 is no longer smaller than negative 5. Negative 4, in fact, is larger than negative 5. The direction of the inequality switches. Negative 5 now is smaller than negative 4. The direction of the inequality switches. The same thing would happen if you, multi if you were to multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative number. We know that 3 is more than 2. But what about 3 times negative 2? and 2 times negative 2. If you were to multiply both sides by negative 2, this becomes negative 6, and negative 6 is in fact less than negative 4. The direction has to switch. 
That's all. So that's what we have to do here. These directions here that you see here, this greater than this greater than symbol here, is going to have to switch the directions. That's the only thing you have to keep in mind. That's all. That's all. So here we have a negative four on the top. Here we have a negative four on the bottom. They cancel out. We are left with only x, which of course was the whole point, and we are done. That's it. That's our solution. So the, so the answer is x x. So the answer is x, whatever the hell it is, it's got to be less than negative seven four. X is less than negative seven four. That's it. That's our answer. Let's do the next one. That's it. We're done with it. Number one. Let's do B. Let's do B. B says. 25x plus 16, 25x plus 16 is greater than or equal to 10 minus x. Again, the same exact thing we're going to do what we do with the equality, which is to bring all the x's to the left hand side and all the known quantity, the numerical value, to the right hand side. So to bring this negative x to this side, let's add, let's add x to both sides. Bring the 16 to this size by subtracting 16 from both sides, and that's it. And when we do that, let's see what we find. So now we have a positive 16 here and a negative 16. They're going to cancel out each other. Of course, that was the whole bloody point. So here we have positive 25x and have a positive 1x. Positive 25 and positive 1 is going to give us 26x. It's greater than or equal to. Here we have a positive 10 and a negative 6. Negative 16 is going to give us negative 6. And here we have a negative x and a positive x. They're going to cancel out. Let's divide both sides by 26. Let's divide both sides by 26. And since 26 is positive, we don't have to do anything to the direction of the inequality. The direction of the inequality is not going to be affected. So that tells us that x, whatever it is, is more than or equal to negative 6 divided by 26. Let's Divide top and bottom by 2, it becomes 3 and 13. So it's negative 3, 13. Again, we do not know what x is, but whatever the hell it is, we know, we know now that it is greater than or equal to negative 3, 13. It is greater than or equal to negative 3, 13. That's all. Let's do the next one. C. Let's see what the same is C. 16 plus x. 16 plus x. We are told is greater than 8x minus 12. Nothing new, the same exact routine, the same Humter routine, which is to bring all the x's to the left hand side, bring all the numerical value to the right hand side. So, how do we bring the 16 to the other side? By subtracting 16 from both sides. This is a positive 16, this is a negative 16, they're going to cancel out each other. How do I bring this 8x to this side? By subtracting 8x from both sides. Let's see what happens. So here we have a positive 16, here we have a negative 16, a positive 16, a negative 16, they're going to cancel each other out. Here we have a positive x and a negative 8x, positive 1x, and a negative 8x is going to give us negative 7x which is greater than this is the positive 8 this is the negative 8x positive 8x and a negative 8x they're going to cancel each other out which was of course the whole point and here we have a negative 12 and a negative 16 that's going to give us negative 8 and 28 let's divide both sides by negative 7 yes negative 7 so 7x and a negative 28 let's divide it by negative 7 Let's divide it by negative 7. And now, as a result, here we have negative 7 on the top. Now, as a result, this inequality sign, which was facing this way, 
now has to face that way because we have just made a division by a negative number right here if we divide by a negative number the direction of inequality switches so let's do that so this negative 7 on the top and a negative 7 on the bottom they're going to cancel each other out and we are left with just x which was the whole point x is less than and what do we get when we divide a negative 28 what do we get when we divide negative 28 by, by negative 7 negative and negative they're going to cancel each other out and we're going to end up getting a 4 a positive 4 again we do not know what x is but whatever the hell it is we now know that it is less than positive 4 x is less than x is less than 4 that's all that's our solution that's it we're done we're done with problem number 8 we're starting with problem number 9 they talk about they deal uh, they give us some word problems which we'll do tomorrow if you are not very good at word problems if you're not very good at word problem if you're shaky on it if you have trouble coming up with the right equation or understanding figuring it out how to convert this English language problem problem that is stated in simple English language into a mathematical language the language of algebra if you happen to be one of those people then go to my channel and on my channel you will find 100 word problems look for algebra word problems there are 100 of them starting with 101 ending with 200 they start out very simple scenarios very simple problem but as you go higher up in the numbers they get more and more complicated and if you do all 100 of them you will see a marked difference in your ability between what you could achieve before in terms of translating the problem into algebraic equation and what you will do what you will be able to do at the end of 100 videos but you must do the work it requires work and effort you must solve every single one of those 100 word problems with me if you're interested and if you're motivated but of course if you're okay with algebra then of course everything is as we say in the desert hunky dory i'll see you tomorrow okay bye now